Bruce, and just on the charity, it's something that you're quite passionate about? Um, yeah, I was sort of lucky enough to, they approached me to be an ambassador champion for the organisation and uh, um, yes, I was willing to, to do it because it's something that I think um, men don't do a lot of is, uh, I guess, create awareness for this kind of issue and um, yeah, I was happy that the, the boys sort of um, felt the same way and, and glad that the Brumbies have jumped on board and, and um, supported this uh, fantastic organisation and initiative. Your role is pretty hands-on there too, isn't it? Yeah, a bit. Um, I've sort of done a, a few sort of um, young, young people programs. I uh, went out to a picnic over the Christmas break with the kids there and um, I guess just to put smile on, smiles on kids' faces when they are sort of been through a bit of adversity is always um, pretty nice. So, uh, yeah, anyway, you can get out and sort of take their mind off, I guess, um, the bigger issues and um, I'll do that. So do you see yourself being a, a role model to a certain extent because you're playing football in the public eye to a lot of these young people? Um, yeah, a little bit, I think. Um, more just to create more awareness about it, like uh, being in such a masculine environment of rugby, um, not many men talk about it or things like that. So if we can try and create change that way to be able to, for, for people to start talking about it and seek help if they, if they need, um, and then to try and, uh, as best we can, to put it to a, to a stop. Was it your initiative for, you know, to push the Brumbies you know, towards this charity? Um, no, we sort of, um, the group sat down and had a few charities um, to pick from. And yeah, I guess the majority of the, of the group um, decided to go with this. And I, I guess um, quite pleasing that the, the, the group is brave, I guess, brave enough and the organisation to be able to step out and, and take this kind of um, step forward. Mate, on the game this week, a big one for you guys? Yeah, pretty big. Um, we haven't really um, thought too much about anything else, really. We're just uh, trying to, um, I guess, get over the, the win last week, which was good, and then um, focus on um, preparing again as well as we can for this weekend. Well, we felt like we'd done it. Bernie said he was going to give you guys a bit of a, a light week this week, obviously after a pretty fast and physical game last week. Are you feeling the burn from last week? A um, yeah, a little bit. We had the weekend off, so we were quite lucky that way. And uh, But the training that we have had has been quite intense and um, yeah, still looking for our improvements where we, where we want to improve our game on, on the weekend. It's, yeah. Ooh. Ticket sales are going pretty well for this one and, and back to the charity, if we get 20,000 through the gates, we're gonna give 20 grand. Um, can you try and encourage a few more people to come out? Yeah, it would be fantastic to see um, uh, a big crowd out there. It'll be an awesome game. I think uh, two quality sides going at it um, and, and these tar clashes are always pretty big for the Canberra community. So hopefully we can get 20,000 there and, and um, so hopefully the Brums can donate to the to the charity as well. It's been a couple of years since you beat the Waratahs here. Um, is that a, 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 a goal, a bit of a goal as well? Um, yeah, not really. Obviously, that's there in in the background. But uh, we've sort of um, solely focused on improving our game from last week. There's been a lot of I guess hype about how we've played and just the points we scored, and we just sort of been um, trying to I guess stay focused on achieving what we want to achieve. And here yeah, this week's no different. It's about um, getting our game out there and, and, and playing. So we're just looking forward to that and if we get the result, we'll be happy. Got a lot of big matchups but between the two sides. A lot of Wallabies going head to head. Obviously you're coming up against Kirtley too. Uh, does the, I mean, that's a big matchup for, for you, I guess, and especially given that having missed out on, on the Wallabies selection last year. Um, yeah, obviously um, every matchup you have, you're um, looking to um, improve. So that's no different. I've played against Kirtley for a number of years now and um, yeah, it's going to be a tough battle, and I know that he's a quality competitor. And um, yeah, I'm just really looking forward to that challenge of yeah, tip the tat sort of thing, and um, hopefully I can get on top. What about last week, Chris? What were the, what were the big takeaways from the, from the game? Is there anything you guys had to renew focus on this week? Um, not really. We didn't get much attacking opportunity. I think the the main thing is that we focused well on our, on whatever opportunity we had, and uh, and took those. So we're um, quite pleased with that. And then. I guess trying to get our attacking structure going is so probably the main thing. Are you expecting the Waratahs to try and match you with that attacking flair given that you, you were throwing the ball around in your own 22? Are you expecting the Waratahs to try and match you in that area? Um, they, I guess they've got attacking power all over the park. I, I we're ready for anything. I guess we're probably not expecting them to run from everywhere. We're just ready for whatever they, they throw at us. So, um, and that's just from doing our review and, and study on, on the opposition and we've just got to be prepared for whatever whatever comes. But you take look. Sometimes these games end up being quite a constricted affair, you know, because both sides are desperate not to lose. 
is there a different mindset in the Brumbies this time, do you think? Um, yeah, a little bit. I think we just mainly focus on getting our game out there. I mean, whether that's we, we play as much as we can and um, I guess the, the constricted game you talk about is probably from the physicality of the games as well. Um, they've always been quite brutal games and um, yeah, I guess we just got to adapt as best we can to however the game flows and anyway, we get, get a chance to win, we'll, we'll take. Do, do you think that's been probably the case in the past? That you know, that may, you may have fallen into that trap a little bit to a certain extent? Um, yeah, I guess a little bit. Um, you, you can put it however you want to. Uh, I think um, for us it's just been um, the, the, the nature of the game. And when we're there, it's just we can't really do much about it when they just, um, when you, you're, I guess, playing so tight and constricted. But um, this week's going to be hopefully uh, pretty open. Uh, a, dry, a dry track's going to be good for us to play some footy. And the thing is that with the side, it's... You know, no injuries, so virtually, you know, you expect an unchanged side. I mean, d does that sort of help you, do you think, to establish that sort of confidence within the team? Um, yeah, any time you can get um, combinations to be able to build on is, uh, is a bonus. So um, hopefully we can build on those performances again. Uh, there's some quality performances out there, and the combinations are only can get better from consistently being out there. And what about Thomas? How did you feel as though he went? Yeah, fantastic. I thought he was, his first game for the Brums was... Unreal, and uh, he's a real competitor, and I like his uh, feistiness around the breakdown. And I think he had a pretty good matchup with uh, Nick Phipps. I think. Does he need to talk more? Do you think? Or no, he reads the game really well. Um, he doesn't really need to talk too much. I'm probably talking enough for him. Uh, so yeah, he's um, listening well, and he just reads the game really well. So it's just more on combination and body language and things like that. The Aussie team seems to start the season pretty well, and then maybe fade out during mid-year and, and that's when the Kiwis, I guess, come back. Has there been a focus on that year, this year to kind of sustain the, the kind of intensity for the um, Not really a focus. I think we've, I guess, pretty cliche, but take it week to week and we, we legitimately have um, had that focus of let's just worry about what, what's next, um, whether that's in training, whether that's w what's next. You know, I've got media now and then I go to recovery, so that's all I can worry about. And the team sort of focus on that kind of, um, uh, I guess, mindset. Um, so we've just got to do the best we can to prepare well and, and build some consistency going in.